I'm Hannah from the Mouseflow product team. And today we're gonna to talk about page groups and how it can help your journey analysis. Let's take this journey as an example. I'm focusing on my homepage right now, and I see that people visit a bunch of different feature pages and a bunch of different pricing pages. What I can do in order to simplify this and to aggregate some of the data so that I'm seeing what actually matters is page groups. If I click here, you can see that I have already some groups set up and I can add more. You just need to decide on a name and then the rule by which we will look at the URLs and decide which group they belong to, then the pattern. But in this simple example, I created a group for pricing, contains all the pages that have pricing in them and features with features. We apply these rules from the top down. That means that if for some reason you have a URL on your website that matches the rules that you've set for two groups or more, we will always match that page to the top ranking group based on this order. You can change the ranking here very easily because in the visualization, we have to count each page's data just once. So make sure that you have your ranking set up correctly and ideally create rules that are very specific so that pages don't fall into the rules of two groups, if possible. This list gets applied whenever this toggle is on, on any journey of this particular website. If you have multiple websites, you can create different page rules for each of those, of course. Hope this was helpful. If you want more tips on how to use journeys to benefit your business, please check out our journey analysis video. Thank you.